This patient treatment will demonstrate the use of a sinus augmentation procedure to elevate the sinus floor over approximately 10 millimeters to allow the placement of three implants in the posterior maxilla. The patient demonstrated with sufficient bone width and bone height except for a sinus pneumatization. In the particular clinical case, many specialized instruments are being used like surgical suction units, hand pieces, hand instruments to really prepare the bone well. Here, a straight surgical hand piece with an LED light will be utilized to visualize the sinus membrane if possible, as well as really to make and increase the amount of light in the posterior maxilla or in the intraoral cavity as much as possible during the surgery. New drill unit is utilized which has an extremely good torque control as well as a good control of speed as different hand pieces. This then will be used to prep the sinus window so we can allow here an entry into the sinus augmentation site. The sinus augmentation site here visible. Then to allow good active cells to be placed into the sinus window and into the sinus augmentation procedure, bone is being harvested with a bone scraper. Then we switch over to a contra-angle surgical handpiece as well with LED and we change the program on the drill unit. This will allow us now to prep the osteotomies for the three implants and a modified surgical technique is being utilized so we can really optimally place the implants with good stability in this limited amount of bone in the posterior maxilla. Three osteotomies have been prepared. The first layer is a bone substitute. The second layer is autogenous bone. And now we're able to place three implants, two regular platforms in the premolar region, one white platform in the molar region. Here, a tapered noble replace positioned into the site. This new drill unit has a unique feature, which is the automatic drill reversal, which makes it more user-friendly to place implants in a stepped torque fashion. So normally I start with 20, 30, 40 Newton and increase the torque as the bone allows me to. Here the overview of the three implants placed, the bone graft in the sinus, and here the final bone graft placed around the sockets of the two implants with coverages of barrier membranes over the implants made out of collagen. The final flap closure demonstrates here tension-free positioning. Then we take an x-ray to make sure that we have the implants in correct position and also have a good sinus elevation which was visible. Okay, we're finished. Thank you so much. For more education programs, visit the Guide Institute at www.guidedental.com.